of, of any business around. And, and, you know, none of these guys want to admit that, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not talented. Maybe I'm not as talented as that guy. Maybe I don't have as good of ideas as that guy. And, you know, that's all we did. All we did is eat, sleep, and drink wrestling. You know, me, Kevin, and Scott, we were never home. You know, we were always having to do extra stuff. Right. So, what else were we going to do except talk about the wrestling right. business because it consumed our lives at that point. Shane, we did an interview with Shane. He said he had a match with Scott somewhere. Uh, I forgot what town it was. Right. And he said that sometimes Scott would, I guess, personally, you know, make him look bad and then go back to the road agents and, you know, tell him that, you know, he's not a good worker or whatever and stuff like that. Right. Well, when I heard that happen was when they were over in Europe, but I wasn't right. there. Right. That's, that's exactly where it was. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't there on that. And that's the thing, you know, that... What I, and that's where Shane's, you know, because Shane's a smart kid. Most stuff, like, he only worked with me once. Right. You know, and mostly he and Scott were together. And Scott, you know, in his opinion, he's got it buried him, but he always used my name because Scott Hall is not a big enough name. But And because I was always the closest one to Vince, so then he eventually used me and just went to drum on me because that would, that most, more people would notice that. Right, right. You know, hey, he's a smart guy, you know. But, uh, I, I don't, I, I find it, I mean, I don't know that it happened if it did or it didn't. Only the guys that were there on that tour could tell you. But I find it hard to believe because Scott's not going to have a, a match that stinks on purpose because it's only going to bury him. Right. Um, what I do know is that Shane, whatever it was that he had in ECW, he didn't have in WWE. He was not good. He did not, he didn't, he didn't, I mean, like I said, I don't know what it was he had there. And as I've seen older tapes, the best I can tell is that he was just allowed to cuss and use the word fuck and ass and shit like that. And that's not a good interview. That's just easy. That's called cheap that's, heat. That's called cheap, heat, cheap pops. You know, that's like nut shots and stuff like that. That's not, that's not good interviews. You know, and being a good worker isn't throwing a guy through a table and stuff like that. It's knowing how to work. It's knowing how to get to people without having to do that stuff. Um, where he got where he put the nail in his coffin. And again, I wasn't there either. It was in Madison Square Garden, and I heard that, I heard tell Vince told me, that he wouldn't work on the garden because he said his back hurt him a little bit. And Vince, and that's when I came back, uh, I came back, Vince, he said, can you believe that son of a bitch fucking going to, is in Madison Square Garden, he's there to show, he's good enough to wrestle all the other town, but then he couldn't work at the garden. You know, I said, well, you know. Right. <laughs> I, said, I, I said, that's, you know, that's, that is what separates the men from the boys. You know, and the guys that want, the guys that don't. So, I mean, he he uh, he had his he had his name stamped, you know, uh, early on from Vince. And uh, I mean, we were how I can remember me and Hunter trying to help him and stuff because we didn't like we didn't like that stupid shit he was wearing. Right. And I can remember Hunter and you know all, all the Canada tours it was me, Hunter, and PJ, uh, and the other guys were somewhere else um, riding together. And then uh, Shane, Sonny, and Candido. Uh, Riding together, and we were all staying at the same places, and Hunter trying to you know draw him up different ideas and stuff like that. Right. Um, oh, and the kid was with us too. But uh, and he was working with he was working with kid, and they just he just couldn't have good matches. And I remember talking in the car, and kid going, I just don't you know I don't get it, man. He goes, I just heard so much about him. He goes, and he just doesn't you know. And I don't know if it was the gimmick, right? You know that Shane couldn't figure out how to make it work or or what. But I mean, with all due respect to him, I mean he stumped.